the study was designed as a, as a phase one trial, so the dose of ipilimumab was held fixed at three milligrams per kilogram. That's a commercially available dose. And then nivolumab was escalated from 0.3 milligrams per kilogram to three milligrams per kilogram. The, uh, the two drugs were given together every three weeks for a total of four doses. And in the first 53 patients, we gave nivolumab alone every three weeks for four doses, and then the combination every 12 weeks for up to a year. In that last cohort that I told you about, cohort eight, we used the same induction regimen using a dose of nivolumab of a milligram per kilogram and a dose of ipilimumab of three milligrams per kilogram. But after they were done with those four induction doses, we gave nivolumab alone every three milligrams per kilogram every two weeks for a year. So the, the results which we presented last year showed an objective response rate of 40%. And the preliminary survival data at that time showed an 80% overall survival at one year. So with another year follow-up, what we found is uh, the first one year survival of 85% across the first 53 patients, a two year survival of 79%, and a median survival of 40 months. And for a phase one, phase one B trial in melanoma, those numbers are essentially unprecedented. Um, if you think about median survival in melanoma 10 years ago, it was somewhere between six to 12 months. Even in this age with targeted therapies, the median survival could be somewhere between 20 and 24 months, and with nivolumab alone is in the 16-month range. So we're now looking at median survivals of 40 months.